Tonight, a Republican state senator rips his own party's unprecedented election audit, calling it ridiculous and embarrassing. That audit, now entering its third week, will be coming to a temporary halt on Friday. But Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick tells us it has nothing to do with that harsh criticism. Senator Paul Boyer told the New York Times he's had enough of an audit he once supported. We're also learning what the audit will do with more than two million of our ballots when it takes a one week break. My vote today is about prayerful patience. Republican State Senator Paul Boyer broke with his GOP colleagues back in February. Madam President, with that, I vote no. Boyer's no vote spared Maricopa County board members from possible arrest for defying a Senate subpoena for their election materials. Now Boyer's breaking with fellow Republicans once again over the election audit he supported. It makes us look like idiots, Boyer told the New York Times. Looking back, I didn't think it would be this ridiculous. It's embarrassing to be a state senator at this point. Boyer is the first and only one of the 16 Senate Republicans to oppose the audit. That audit now in its third week at Veterans Memorial Coliseum, but it's taking a break in just a few days. The audit will clear out of the Coliseum on Friday to make way for a week's worth of high school graduations. 2.1 million Maricopa County ballots and other election and audit materials will be carted to a location on the fairgrounds and move back into the Coliseum in time for the audit to resume on May 24th. A Maricopa County spokesman says Senate Republicans have agreed to cover the cost of any damage to the county's property. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.